Hello guys, welcome once again. In this video, we are going to look at what's next for Booster 7 and a quick update on Artemis 1 mission. After conducting a successful static fire test yesterday involving a record number of Raptor engines, SpaceX engineers were highly impressed with the outcome of the test. Elon Musk now says Booster 7 will return to the Mega Bay for upgrades on the robustness of the Super Heavy Booster. You know what's coming next. After the static fire, Elon posted a video on Twitter and reacted in his own fashion with a lighthearted joke. Just the seven engines did produce an enormous amount of thrust. According to the SpaceX chief, while Booster 7 remains inside the Mega Bay, Booster 8 will replace Booster 7 on the orbital launch mount to proceed with stress testing. So, Booster 8 was rolled out to the pad already. He further said the next test on Booster 7 will be a full-stack wet dress rehearsal with Starship S-24. It's worth mentioning that S-24 already passed a full six-engine static fire earlier this month. After the wet dress rehearsal, we are about to see the world's most powerful rocket firing up all its 33 engines producing around 17 million pounds of thrust. Although he didn't say anything about the possible timeline of the first orbital test flight, it is understandable that SpaceX has to pass this test first. NASA is all set to proceed with its crucial cryogenic demonstration test on SLS on Wednesday. If everything goes as planned, they will attempt to launch the moon rocket for the third time on the 27th of this month. Recently, they replaced two seals on the quick disconnect plate on the rocket. The first attempt failed due to an engine bleed issue. The second was scrubbed due to a hydrogen leak issue. Will they make it in the third attempt? Or will we see another issue on the multi-billion rocket? We will find out soon. Starship and SLS rocket never was in a race on which one will go to orbit first. But I'm starting to think Starship will fly first if SLS faces any issue that would force the rocket to roll back to the vehicle assembly building. 